The magic brush quickly and easily masks areas of similar colors on your photo for editing on an adjustment layer. The magic eraser works in a similar way except erases portions of an existing mask. Let's start with the magic brush. Select the brush here and simply draw a line on the area you wish to mask. Capture One will automatically fill in the area of similar pixels to the ones covered by the stroke. This enables a fast way of masking areas and objects of similar colors. Make sure your mask is visible so you can see where you are brushing and the resulting mask. Hit M on your keyboard to turn the mask on and off. Mask visibility is also indicated by the icon here. The magic brush works additively, allowing you to continue making brush strokes on other areas of your photo in order to get the mask you need. If your photo already has adjustment layers present, start by making a new layer so the magic brush doesn't modify existing masks. Right clicking with the magic brush active reveals specific settings for the magic brush. Adjusting the tolerance to a low value will restrict the mask to very similar colors. Whereas a high value will pick up a wider range of colors. A low refine edge value will result in a hard defined edge. While a higher refine edge value will create a mask with a softer fall off into the surroundings. This checkbox controls if the magic brush will sample the entire photo or be restricted by edges. It's easy to see in this example. The magic brush has filled in areas up to the edge of the sign. This time, all areas of similar color are masked. The magic eraser works in a similar way to the magic brush, but reversed. In this photo, I'll start by using the magic brush to select all the grapes in the photo. I'm also going to sample the entire photo as not all the grapes are really sitting next to each other, so this way I'll ensure I'll get all of them selected. I don't want the grapes in the background to be part of my mask, so I'll pick the magic eraser and remove those areas. I'll also increase the tolerance quite a bit and also the refine edge a little as well. Use the grayscale mask to easily check any smaller, hard to see areas of the mask. Finally, to link the magic brush and magic eraser settings, check this box. This is useful if you want both brushes to behave in the same way.